Right, it's day two at Amandwera, and yesterday the challenge came from the O'Connor course. Today, it's from one of my golfing heroes, actually, Nick Faldo, and it's a Faldo design course. I'm gonna do exactly the same challenge. Nine holes, can I shoot par? Only one way to find out. Let's get to that first two. Right, so what I've done this time is we're going to try and learn from yesterday. So I've had nine holes to warm up, so I've stood on the 10th tee of the Faldo course. And to be fair, I've got to say, I uh, really like the layout of what we played front nine. What I will say is, I haven't played that great, so the theory will be tested. When the camera goes on, can I start to concentrate that little bit more and get a bit of a game together? We'll soon find out. It's not the best hole to start with, to be honest with you. I've just found out it's a par four, and it's playing something like 470 yards, so... Uh, that's a long way to go. A long par four. Way down the left-hand side again. I can't stop doing that at the moment. That's the shot I've hit all morning. Down in the sand tracks down the left and uh, not a great start, but that's the shot I've hit literally from every tee shot so far. I didn't read that, you know. That's an absolutely <laughs> nosedive. <laughs> Always going to be a little bit tentative short. It's just easy golf, isn't it? I switched the mic on because I said to uh, my friend who's helping me with the camera, I'll do a piece of camera here, but I wasn't expecting that to go in. I was expecting to talk about another possible three putt. So assessment so far, uh, this course I really enjoy by the way, let's talk about the Faldo design. Um, 
you need to know your way around, I think is the first thing. And certainly on that hole that we've just played, a bit of uh, course knowledge would help, but I love the layout. Greens have been in superb condition, as been hopefully you can see the definition uh, in and around the course. But in terms of the video that we're shooting, um, I found, I think this was three greens in reg, uh, but a long way short of the pin on all of them. And uh, on the previous two, I had three putted. So they were the kind of negatives was the three puts, but I was a long way away. Um, again, committing to shots has been a big thing. Switching the camera on has helped, although I've not played fantastic. It's definitely sharpened the focus a little bit and uh, have it some better ball striking. And that's one back anyway. So what, what's that? So two over, not bad at this stage. Right, so where's it going? Oh, I got it. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's the white mark, yeah. What a great backdrop that is and uh, some stunning views in and around this course. Uh, really enjoy this back nine, as I've just said. Uh, but I, I mentioned out to, to you, what do you find again? I asked this in a previous video. Uh, I've just been discussing it with my playing partner today. What is it that sort of impacts on your performance in your medal match on a Sunday? And are you experiencing these same kind of difficulties? So once again, without doubt, the front nine was, was, was a warm-up and it just shows that you need to get down that range and start practising and limbering up those bigger muscles. And, and then the concentration thing, it's something that I struggle with massively. Um, and again, I would imagine it's a big part in what plays, in, in what lets us down as average golfers. So comments down below, uh, what are your issues right now with your game? Right at it again. Well, once again, one thing that is definitely apparent is that, and again, laid off just a little bit tentative on that iron in. On the couple of shots I've played it, I've mentioned again off cameras, there's not a lot of room at the back of the pin, and, and, and scared laying off doesn't work either, though, does it? Because I'm a, a fair old bit short yet again, which has been a feature of the round so far. Last time I spoke to camera, I. Uh, Railroaded one of these. This isn't far away either. This isn't far away. <laughs> Jesus! I need to put the camera on a few more times. I can't believe that. We said off the set, the other putt, that it looked in from a long way out, and uh, and so did that. So, for, I don't know how, but I'm back to plus one. <laughs> right, so we're going to have to make this last hole. I'm not going to fit nine in. It's, uh, it's, it's, near, it's almost December here in Portugal, and uh, it's just drawing in a little bit. But I can't believe I played uh, in T-shirt for 18 holes on a uh, late November day. So, a little bit of a wedge to finish. It'd be great to get a birdie to finish. Maybe that's a bit greedy and bring it back to level. That's right on it if it's got the legs. That's not bad. Again, it was one of them ones you certainly didn't want to be long. About 15 foot uh, for birdie to get to level par, which would be a great finish.
I thought I swung a bit more and uh, I will finish off. I won't give it myself, but uh, I think hopefully I should make a three there. So it finishes um, one over, which, so if I evaluate today my performance, um, it's probably in a way better than yesterday in a sense that I didn't have much of a game going and the, uh, the elements are just concentrating a little bit. Yeah, I had a couple of flukes in terms of a couple of big putts, but uh, overall, I think I did well with what I had today because yesterday, and if you've watched yesterday's video, if you haven't, please go and watch it. But yesterday, I was kind of stroking it around. Everything was fairly easy. And, and again, big reference to the fact that an easier course, wider fairways, a lot more questions asked today. And when you stood on the tee, again, you had to really start to think about things. So uh, it was tougher. One over was probably uh, a flattering score on my side, but again, loads of lessons learned and having the camera switched on and that concentration element is still the biggest thing that I've took from the two days. And uh, can I shoot level par? Well, not yet. I've got to one over through seven and we might carry on with this series uh, elsewhere because I've enjoyed it and it might help me improve my golf a bit.